Hey y'all, what's up? It is Coach Kelly Marie. I am an NLP certified business and mindset teacher, and I am here to talk about something that gets me super excited. We're talking about beauty today. I am a beauty services girl. Nail, hair, makeup. I am all about the beauty industry, massage. Baby, I done done it all, okay? Right now, I'm hearing a lot of beauty industry providers say like it's a slow season. You consider it to be I'm having a slowdown in clients, but by you saying it is a slow season or we're going into slow season, you are subconsciously setting yourself up for a slow season. I've seen a lot of braiders say, you know, it's winter, it's the slow season. But then a lot of people think that, hey, in the winter, I'm gonna get my hair in braids because it's a protective style. So is it really the slow season or is it not? Because if you switched from saying, come get your hair braided for your vacation so it's easier when you get your hair wet. If you switch from saying that in the summer to in the winter saying, or the colder must saying, come get your hair braided so that you can, you know, protect your hair from the harsh weather, you wouldn't be in a slow season. You would still be booking a lot of Every business has its slow seasons. Like if you look at your data and say, my clients typically slow down in this time. But if you adjust your marketing, you don't really have to have a slow season. You know what I'm saying? Like you really don't have to have one. It's about adjusting your marketing, adjusting your strategies and adjusting your sales. So this is the beginning of a new series called Slow Season. Now I do not own a beauty business. I know somebody's probably gonna watch this and say, but girl, you don't own a beauty brand, so you don't know. I am the consumer. So you are getting this information from me from the, the, from the perspective of one, a professional coach who has worked with over 1,000 women-owned businesses, and two, from the perspective of probably your ideal client because I'm a book of beauty service, I don't care what the economy is doing. So I'm probably your ideal client. And when I was in my 20s, if my check was $200 and it was $100 to get my nails done, I'm getting my nails done. I'm probably your ideal client and I have been for a really long time. That is the perspective that I'm giving you. It also helps that I'm not in the beauty industry because I don't have those same mindset parameters and those same limitations around what is a slow season and what is not. I'm gonna ask for you, for the duration of this video, to get rid of all the parameters around what you think is a slow season I am inviting you to press the pause button and to unsubscribe from the idea that your business has to be slow because of the weather your business has to be slow because of the economy your business has to be slow because of what somebody else is doing in your area or what somebody else is not doing in your area or what is and is not available to you I want you to unsubscribe to that just put a pause on it just for the duration of this video number one way of how to get clients to book with you show behind the scenes of the results someone can get based off of the service that they booked and how often they book with you so that people know what to expect. This is one of the biggest oopsies I see where I'm just like, I wanted to pay you, but like now I don't even know what to pay for. And when people start getting confused on what service to book and how often to book and all of that, they just end up not booking because they're confused. They go to somebody else's page where it's more clear. So I need to see like, when, as a client, I need to see behind the scenes of you actually working on other people. It honestly doesn't even matter to me if it's someone who actually booked you or if it's someone you know or someone that is a model because I know a lot of beauty service providers do like they try out things on models or they do services on models so that they can get content. Like none of that part even matters to me. Like I just want to see behind the scenes of you working because that makes me feel more comfortable about coming in. Beauty services are... Beauty services are like one of those things where you're literally putting your face or your skin or your nails or your hair in the hands of someone that you've never met. A lot of times when you're booking someone for the first time, you've never met that person. So it helps to have some level of trust. It helps to have some level of trust. It helps to feel like you kind of know what the results are going to be. So definitely showing behind the scenes results of what someone can get. And not only that, also including in the post, what service did that person book and how often do they come? Especially if you're like an esthetician, if it's someone who's like does natural nails, for example, you see someone getting their facial, but you want to know what service did that person specifically book? Because that also closes the gap in between one am I booking or am I not booking the right thing and how often do they come because 
you don't want to see a post and then you book and this happens when this is why you may have a lot of people that book one time and never book again they see a post of somebody's skin or somebody's nails or somebody's natural hair being done and they book and they expect their hair to look like that and it's like but sis you didn't start off with the same base that this other girl started off with but that part comes inside the explanation of the post it's not just hey i'm gonna post my behind the scenes of me working but like explain to people what's happening hey this is my client she booked a wash deep condition trim she's been coming to me for a year and we've been working on the health of her hair she comes consistently once a month that is the perfect explanation to get someone who is a completely new client to book with you because they know if i want my hair to look like her hair that means that i need to come i need to book exactly what she booked the deep condition and the trim and i need to come once a month for the year it doesn't mean that they're going to automatically do that but if they know what to expect so they don't come one time and book and then they leave confused as to why they don't have the same result as the girl on instagram had oh because you have to come consistently for six months to really get the health of your hair like this is how we restore the health of your hair but the same thing applies to like i said natural nails because sometimes people will look at natural nails and be like well her nails are long i wish my nails are longer i wish my nails are like that well your nails have to be a certain health your hair has to be a certain way or it has to be a certain color like don't come in here with black hair expecting to leave with platinum blonde hair in one day and still have your hair be all the way down to your butt you may lose some hair number two create a personality based quiz that attracts your ideal clientele this is one of my favorite okay so for example which celebrity hairstyle fits you if you are a hairstylist it doesn't matter if you're a celebrity hairstylist or not most hairstylists have a range of styles that they can do find some celebrities that wear hairstyles similar to the range of hairstyles that you can do and create a quiz it's something fun that's why i said personality based quiz is something fun what's your skin type if you're an esthetician what's the best yoni steam for your body if you do yoni steam a lot of people who do yoni steams have like different recipes like there's different herbs for different things and so helping someone through a quiz say this is the combination of herbs that you can do for your yoni steam like that helps make it easier for them to book also if you sell those herbs or you sell those at home steam kits then it makes them more confident in ordering with you because they know they're going to get what they need which brow service fits you best what's your style profile okay these are all super interesting personality based quizzes what does this do why does this help you book more clients number one it grows your email list number two it gives you a lot more data than what you have a lot of beauty service providers make the mistake of not having a lead magnet or offering a discount as a lead magnet and that doesn't give you any information on the person it just it may bring them in it may not bring them in but you need more information in order to become a better marketer knowledge is power knowledge is currency information is currency just knowing someone's name and email and that they got a discount and that's why they came in versus i know this person's skin type and i can now send them emails and text messages with recommendations based on their skin if you had a skin type quiz i have a client who i made her a what's your skin type quiz she now has segments in her email list of these people have oily skin these people have combination skin these people have dry skin and we're going into the fall winter months and now she knows let me make sure i send out emails and text message reminders to everyone in my email list that has dry skin to let them know that they need to come in more frequently during this season and what's going to happen to their skin now in this winter and cold season if they don't take care of it through the summer they're going to be dealing with issues in the summer because they didn't take care of their skin in the winter so now she knows that same thing with hair maybe it's take this hair type quiz or take this quiz to find out which hair products are best for your hair now even if you don't sell those physical items you could still create those quizzes is to help people know what to buy whether that means you're giving them store-bought recommendations or you're giving them recommendations from other small businesses where you may have affiliate codes because that's another stream of income or whether you have your own products which is another stream of income but you're helping someone and that's what people are looking for with beauty services i can get my hair done anywhere i can get my nails done anywhere i can get a, a facial anywhere but i'm gonna go to the place and i'm gonna continually go back to the place and book the person who i feel like is helping me reach my beauty goals number three go to events in your local area and vlog with things to do and how your services can enhance the experience or look the girlies will be going for when attending these events for example don't forget to get your brows done for the concert this weekend if you provide beauty services in person like in a local area like you have a beauty suite or a salon or wherever you are if you provide services in-person services you need to be at all the you need to be out in the streets my guy and you need to be sharing those things 
with other people because that's what's going to attract localized clients. If you are consistently posting, here are the best brunch spots, here's what we did this weekend, here's what's coming up next month, here's what we're going to this month. If you were vlogging all of that in your local area, you're going to start to attract a large audience in your local area and then intertwining that in which is lifestyle with your actual behind the scenes and you showcasing your clients is going to get you more in-person clients. We're looking cute to go shopping. We're looking cute to go to the movies, to go to the concerts, the picnics, the events, the homecomings, the whatever. So you need to tie all that in together because beauty is a lifestyle. And then number four, how to get clients to book with you is to run localized Facebook and Instagram ads. You have to do it through the computer, but you need to go to facebook.com and set up an ad and say only run this ad within 30 miles of my address or only run this within 30 miles of my the address of my suite. Y'all do not know how many times I have seen ads pop up on my Instagram and in my Instagram stories of places that I don't even live by. And I'm like this close to DMing the person saying, I don't know how much money you're spending on this ad, but you're throwing it all out the window because I live in Atlanta and you're trying to advertise a service to me and you're based in Delaware and that does nothing for me. And I'm pretty sure there are other people who are seeing this ad that don't live in Delaware and have never been to Delaware. Make sure that it is running local. I don't care if you travel to Houston once a month. I don't care if you travel to DC once a month. It needs to be running to your home base. The location where you spend the most amount of time each month is where that ad needs to be running and no farther than 30 miles away from that because the only time someone is going to drive outside of 30 miles is if they it was like a personal referral and their friend referred you or if you are super popular and hard to book with or if you offer something that is not offered in their area like there are very specific situations for that but if we're talking about i need to book more clients meaning i don't care if they're new clients returning clients whatever or they're gonna have to be new clients because you've had clients before and then you did not turn them into returning clients then it needs to be less than 30 miles um it needs to be within a range of less than 30 miles. That is all I have for today on how to get clients to book with you. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.